Hi guys, what is up and welcome to this week's video. So a lot of time I see a lot of comments from all of you guys asking me how do I get my drums to sound the way they do in my videos, how do I sound like Roger Taylor, how do you tune a drum kit, I see those comments daily on my channel and I thought today that I would show you guys how to tune your tom toms. It's a really really simple method that I use and because I'm a self taught drummer I have never really been taught properly how to tune a drum kit. This method that I'm going to show you right now that you guys can use at home, it's something that I got off a few YouTubers and what I saw on a few drumming websites about different tips and tricks that you can do. If you guys would like to see more of how-to tutorials on how I get my drum sound sounding that the way that they do, then please do leave it in the comments down below and I'll be happy to help you guys out. For this trick actually, it's ridiculously quick, simple and easy because all you're going to need is your hand and a drum key. That is all you're going to need. You're not going to need all these gimme gizmos that you get through drum tuners. This is literally all you're going to need. These two things is your hand and your drum key. At the moment, my tom tom is not sounding amazing, so it's in need of a good, good tune because I've not played it for a little while. I'm just going to show you guys step by step exactly what I do in order to achieve my drum sound. So I'm only start off by doing the obvious, which is just unscrewing all of my drum screws. And usually what I would also do, although it's quite clean at the moment, I would often clean it after I take these heads off. So I'm just going to take this off very very gently and now I'm obviously going to do the same for the bottom skin as well okay so you're just going to take the bottom skin off as well and this is where I would usually do a good dust of my tom tom skins I don't use any special drum polish or anything like that I just use a normal cloth rag with some wood polisher and I usually spray it onto the rag and clean it. So I often don't buy drum polish or drum cloths really, I just usually stick to household stuff because sometimes it can be very expensive to afford like a drum kit care kit. So now I'm going to show you how to put these skins on. So usually what I do is I actually do the bottom first. I do the bottom skin first. So obviously when you put it down, if it's a fresh skin, be very careful with it because it can be very fragile at times. All you're gonna do, you're literally going to finger tighten the screws all around. So I'm just gonna ensure that each one of them are tight. And usually what I do, even if it's an old skin, but especially with new skins, Often what I do is I put my hand down very gently, not on the skin itself, but on the side of the drum and just press down, but then just finger tight it even more. Cause if you can see, even the screws will move a little bit and that just shows that you're stretching the skin, but you're not doing any ridiculous strainings. Cause you're literally finger tightening all of these areas. This is where my method comes into play. So I'm literally gonna form a fist place it on the base bit of your skin and right now you can see that there are creases all in the drum so now what you're going to do is better to do this in a light area by the way I'm just going to mention that literally not too hard obviously but you're just going to go around the drum and you're going to get rid of all of those creases you don't need to do massive turns it's just literally probably a quarter of a turn or half a turn of your drum key so literally you're going to do the exact same thing with the top skin as well. Then can tighten all the screws again. So that, that's now all finger tight. Place your fist down. Remember not too hard. And you're literally just gonna go around the drum to ensure that these creases are not there anymore. So from the looks of things, I'm happy with both how the head looks and how the bottom looks as well. Do a quick test, so to show you the difference in before and after. That sounds pretty ideal. And usually what you'll want to do is you'll want your both sides of the drum to sound almost exactly the same. Yes, it won't sound dead the same, but it'll be pretty much as good as. But that sounds pretty good to me so far. 
Okay guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, don't forget to click that thumbs up button and please do let me know in the comments down below if this helped you in any way, shape or form. Do also let me know, like I said before, if you want me to do any more how-to tutorials. And also, if you are not already, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do nothing but Queen drum covers, reaction videos and vlogs. So if you're a big Queen fan, please go check out my other videos. And I shall see you in a video very soon. Bye!